50 years ago, the founder of the Bamberger Ranch Preserve, J. David Bamberger, set out on a journey in the Texas Hill Country to find a degraded piece of land. When he found it, he embarked on an ongoing journey of restoration. It became a process that would transform the land into one of the most productive and best habitats in the area. He worked with Mother Nature and not against her, much in the same way that Aldo Leopold envisioned land stewardship over 75 years ago. Now, the Bamberger Ranch Preserve serves as a model of stewardship, conservation, and education for people everywhere. The Ranch Preserve provides a beacon of hope, illustrating that Mother Nature can repair herself, heal, and be restored. Texas A&M University's Natural Resources Institute's mission is to solve complex natural resources challenges through discovery, stewardship, engagement, and innovation. The staff of the Natural Resources Institute describes its role as being where conservation and applied research meet. Aldo Leopold was the father of the land ethic and of wildlife management and he was integral in the movement for wilderness conservation and biodiversity preservation. Leopold set the standard in land management and stewardship with his five tools. We are very proud to partner with Texas A&M University's Natural Resources Institute for an online series called Leopold Live, where we will highlight and demonstrate a modern take on Leopold's five tools of land stewardship. So my name is April Sansom and I have the privilege of being the executive director of Sela Bamberger Ranch Preserve. And we are very excited to invite you to join us virtually for five days here at the preserve where we are partnering with the um, Natural Resources Institute. I'm here with my colleague and friend, Dr. Roel Lopez. Thank you, April. Um, Roel Lopez, I'm the director of the Texas A&M Natural Resources Institute and like April would love to extend an invitation to join us for our virtual field day here at uh, Bamberger. Uh, in the upcoming weeks we will post uh, more information about the, the field days, the virtual field days, uh, via our Facebook Live and social media channels. And so again look forward to uh, working or engaging with uh, folks across the state and country and, and talking more about uh, Aldo Leopold and his five tools and, and being able to show how how they're applied and how they can be used. And like you, th there were other natural resource professionals that, that served to influence my, my philosophy and, and training over the years. And so uh, early on, we were collectively introduced to Aldo Leopold, right. his writings, his, his uh, philosophy the notion of a land ethic, the, the notion of land stewardship, uh, what the tools uh, that uh, serve to sort of frame that philosophy mm -hmm. and those practices. And so uh, I think it's, it's served us both well over the last several years. Mm -hmm. And so, so again, it's just a, a real pleasure to be here and, and partnering with Bamberger and, uh, and trying to develop um, uh, a virtual field day for all of us right moving forward absolutely and we're excited to have the natural resources institute here and and excited to enter this partnership so we appreciate you being here absolutely the notion of a land ethic what you've described mr bamberger as as having and implementing at bamberger ranch over the last 40 plus years 50 years uh really uh, uh talks to the importance of stewarding private lands, uh, lands, uh, public lands as well, to the benefits of all of us. And so uh, again, it's a, it's a very inspirational story and story that we oftentimes hear with, with others. Um, you know, Aldo Leopold, as, as you know, was the father of wildlife management. And early in his career and in his writings, he described uh, five tools that were important in the restoration of lands uh, to a, a more improved state. And so, uh, you know, it sounds as though Mr. Bamberger applied a lot of those tools over the years. And, you know, when you talk about those tools, and, and we'll get into that a little bit further here shortly, the, the tools may look a little different from 100 years ago mm -hmm. or what have you. 
but really the, those basic uh, principles uh, applied uh, 100 years ago uh, still have application today, and they're extremely important. And so for private landowners, for students, for natural resource professionals, we oftentimes uh, rely on and go to those tools in framing how we basically put our signature on the land. So, you know, one of the things that we would like to try to do mm -hmm. in partnership with, with Bamberger is obviously uh, uh, trying to convey this message of land stewardship and the management of land in, in a proper way. Right. And so w the value of, of uh, these virtual field days is being able to reach a much broader audience. You know, the, we're seeing some significant changes in Texas and beyond in terms of land ownership. Right. And just as an example, in the last uh, 20 plus years, the ownership uh, in Texas has increased by 25,000 plus new landowners. Wow. And, and it's due to the breakup of, of uh, farms, ranches, family forests. Right. And the statistic oftentimes uh, uh, quoted is 95% of the state is privately owned. Right. That's true. But probably a, a more important statistic relative to this conversation is 83% of Texas is a farm, a ranch, a family forest. That's amazing. We call those collectively working lands. So these working lands provides us with a, an abundance of, of benefits from clean water, recreational opportunities, uh, uh, ways of connecting with nature, right. uh, 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 consumptive uses, hunting, fishing, things of that sort. That's 141 million acres. So how can we reach these landowners? How can we better reach natural resource professionals that serve to, to provide support to these landowners? And, and lastly, how can we reach the next generation, the next generation right. of natural resource professionals in conveying this notion of land ethic, land stewardship, uh, to ultimately uh, improve land within a broader landscape? And I, I'd like to echo what you've just said about the, um, the connectivity being so important because as, as this, uh, the lands in this wonderful state that we live in do become more and more fragmented, then the networks that we build and the connectivity between those different landowners um, becomes more and more important. Absolutely. So, so like Bamberger, we also have a similar mission. Uh, at Texas A&M, AgriLife Research and AgriLife Extension, you know, one of the primary purposes of our mission mm -hmm. is to better serve uh, uh, land stewards, private landowners in, in, in various ways. And so, so again, I think the, the fact that we're like-minded organizations uh, targeting and trying to support uh, these uh, very important stewards of, of our private lands across the state is testament to the importance of this kind of information and this kind of activity. Right, absolutely.